My name is Teresa Kuntz. I'm the Victim Assistance Coordinator. My name is Denise Espeleta. I'm a Victim Assistance Specialist. And my name is Claire Mullaney. I'm also a Victim Assistance Specialist. Part of what we do in Victim Assistance is we, uh, we serve the victims in our communities of North Richland Hills, Richland Hills, Haltom City, and Watauga. And we serve victims of violent crimes. Um, we provide crisis intervention and emotional support. We also um, will help victims go through the criminal justice process, which can be very confusing and very difficult. Uh, we work as a liaison between the detectives um, in some of these cases as well and uh, work with the victims to let them know kind of what's going on with their cases. Um, when working with victims, we provide referrals to uh, community partners that will provide services to the victims uh, to address the trauma they've experienced through because of crime. Um, and they will assist in services such as counseling, legal, basic needs, housing, um, just anything that they can provide within the community. Um, and another resource for all community members is called the Victim Referral Line. Um, and that's manned by us and the volunteers here at North Richland Hills. Um, it's a number that anyone can call just to learn some more about resources in the community. So anything from parenting needs to um, resources for your basic needs like food, clothing, housing, and learning about the eviction process um, or employment opportunities. And you can call that number at 817-427-7145. Hi, I'm uh, Officer Chris Morgan and I am the Crisis Intervention Officer for North Richland Hills Police Department. And I've been a police officer for 16 years. I've been doing this particular role for four. Um, part of what I do is, uh, it's kind of three parts. Uh, there's a community co component, a uh, part where I work with officers, and then I handle some training. Uh, the, for the community, basically if an officer goes out and we interact with somebody in the uh, city who has a uh, mental health concern, or uh, even if it's qu not quite uh, where we're overly worried about their safety, uh, that officer will uh, get some details, they'll write a report, and that report comes to me. And then I partner with MHMR of Tarrant County, which is a mental health authority for Tarrant County. And uh, myself and a social worker will go out, follow up, it's usually about two weeks later, that usually has enough time to let the dust settle on everything else. And uh, we basically try to gauge uh, how we can further facilitate uh, that person getting access to resources. So uh, it could be a mental health resource, so do we need to get them screened in for services with MHMR or uh, with JPS or can we point them towards another private hospital? Or uh, sometimes it could just be helping them meet basic needs. Uh, if, if we go out and interact with somebody and they're struggling to uh, get enough food, uh, it's unreasonable to expect them to get uh, medication is not going to win out over uh, cheeseburger. just isn't. So uh, we try to make sure that they have access to all their basic needs so that they can take care of the higher stuff. Uh, that also spills over to officers. So uh, as of right now, I also oversee any of our officer wellness. Uh, uh, things could be, it could be stress, right? it's a stressful job, uh, it could be um, sleep, it could be any number of things. So if an officer is not taking care of themselves, then they're not going to be in their best shape for taking care of uh, people who live here in North Richland Hills. And uh, it just opens up potentials for, uh, for problems, uh, them personally, interactions and whatnot. Uh, then beyond that, uh, I handle all the training. So it could be helping officers understand behavioral health things. It could be uh, like the latest and greatest is all the trauma-informed stuff of how trauma impacts people and leads to uh, future problems. It could, or, or and again for the officer as well, uh, it could be, uh, uh, lately it's been a lot of the bias and profiling so that people can kind of understand a little bit uh, more about what's happening and why. And uh, 
pretty much anything else, they toss it my direction if I can at all help it. So um, hopefully that informs you a little bit about what I do. If uh, there's something I can do for you or your family, feel free to reach out. You can, of course, if it's an emergency, call 911 first, because luckily they let me go home and sleep from time to time. Uh, but if, uh, if it's an emergency 911, uh, you can email me at cmorgan, M-O-R-G-A-N, at nrhtx.com, or call my office. Um, I generally work about 7 in the morning to 3, 3.30, sometimes 4. Uh, but you can call me in the office at 817-427-7092.